Well, he sounds like he's having fun. <laughs> here in Arizona we are at <laughs> I can't remember where we're at we are at Karchner Caverns State Park it's a really nice state park I'm just sitting here in the van with Charles um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning and we're gonna pack up and we're heading to one of my favorite places in the world the superstitions we have a site at Lost Dutchman State Park and I'm so excited because I've always wanted to stay there when I went to the Phoenix area but I never had the opportunity. There's just something about the Superstition Mountains that just draws you in and I just keep on wanting to go back to them. In the meantime, I'm just waiting for Corbin to get back from the shower and we're gonna pack up and we're gonna head on out. Well, we made it to Lost Dutchman State Park. There they are. The Superstitions, I love them. The park is full. The sites are very small. And the bathrooms. I can't say that this campground is very well laid out. Like they seem to have different loops here. For every loop there should be a bathroom, let's just say. But uh, no, the bathroom is quite a hike away from this loop that we're in, um, which is the powered loop. So I'm just taking a nice walk enjoying the view of the superstitions and trying to find the bathroom. <laughs> you can see the gold field, um, old mining town here. It's a pretty cool place, it's very touristy. We've gone there a few times. Um, it's something to see, they have like a cool Wild West gun show that they do and the ice cream's really good and they have like a train tour that goes around the town and uh, talks about the superstitions and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's something to check out if you're in the area. So Charles and I are on a walk from the campground. We are heading towards the Siphon Head, Siphon Trailhead. Um, see it's very clearly marked path. Beautiful view of the mountain. This is such a gorgeous area. Mountains and saguaros all around us. This is a very popular park. I was lucky to get a site, especially a power site. So if you want to come to Lost Dutchman, make sure you book in advance. But you can see why this place is so popular. the campground is a lot of times the parking at these trailheads can get really busy and packed but if you're staying at the campground you don't have to worry about that you can just hit the trail without having to worry about where you're parked Ugh. I can't get over the view of this mountain
Well, he sounds like he's having fun. <laughs> I can hear him yelling from here. <laughs> That's cool. I love these big cactuses, the saguaros. They're so beautiful. I'm trying to control Charles, just in case there's any rattlesnakes hiding in these bushes here. I love how they have these little informational plaques around the hike. So we're heading actually towards the Saguaro Trail uh, parking lot. Okay, so I made it to the Saguaro parking lot. Um, quite a few cars parked here. I saw the animal tracks and the interpretive signs, but I didn't see the sundial. I'll have to check that out on the way back. Looks like somebody's filming something over there. It's cool because they have all these different like um, ramadas that you can rent. Um, this one has some picnic tables and a grill and water and trash and electricity. This is just a really, really cool area. So I'm going to make the hike back to the campsite. I'm going to leave you guys here. I know this was a quick vlog today, but I've just been enjoying being by the superstitions again. If you're ever in the Phoenix area, go to the superstitions. Someday I'm going to come here, stay at Lost Dutchman for maybe a week and try to do as many hiking trails as I can do because there's so many of them that are easily accessible from the campground. So, give you guys a view of the superstitions as I say bye. So tomorrow we are finally getting into Quartzsite um, and meeting up with my parents that are there. So, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, interact with me. And if you're liking the video so far, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next adventure. See you in your courtside tomorrow. Bye, guys.